I came to uh, Chicago simply because, as you know, Somalia is a failed state. There was civil war. So many people were displaced, a lot of persecutions. And I actually came to America uh, to seek asylum here and uh, to seek sanctuary here. So basically, I would say I'm a refugee in America. There was war all over the country. will subside and maybe the government actually collapsed, the president fled the country. We thought that uh, maybe they will work out something and things will be better and maybe we will even go back to our city. But that didn't happen. Life was hard. Things were not easy. I had to make a hard decision to leave my family behind and uh, I decided to come to the United States. It was really hard. I didn't know anyone. Uh, I spoke a little English, but everything was aligned to me. The system, the infrastructure, many cars, all these things. I was really confused. I didn't know the way of navigating, applying for asylum. You need a lawyer and all these things. And uh, remember, I could not afford a meal, let alone get a lawyer. These are resources that are very, very crucial to somebody uh, who is a refugee. One thing I found out with Chicago was, you know, you don't need money to go and uh, do or reach whatever you want. There's so many resources out there that can help uh, the common man. That is where life started breathing in me again. That is where I got therapies, doctors, a wonderful team of people who really, who really worked around the clock to put me back on track, put me out of the depression, out of the trauma that I had. And slowly by slowly, I was becoming what I am today. After long eight years, in 2008, my family joined me. I was in the airport six hours before the arrival, waiting with the signs of welcome and flowers. I remember it, I feel like tears flowing down my eyes when I remember that day. It was the happiest day of my life. We made it through the help of all, very many good people, good Samaritans. And uh, believe me, that's why I tell you, Chicago is somewhere I will never forget.